and welcome back to my channel. If you are a beginner guitarist, this series is perfect for you. Over the next few days, I'll be posting 10 quick guitar tips for beginners. And at this point, I've got a challenge for you. What did the elf say to the dwarf? Big ears are special. <laughs> What did the wolf say to Red Riding Hood when she asked Grandma, Why such big ears? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Remember, B and E are special. Before we get started, here is a quick side tip. All the musical guitar terms used in this video will be in the description. And if it is that you missed any of our previous guitar tips, please click on the card above or we'll leave the links in the description as well. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's give it a go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Remember, B and E are special. Music is a language. And the best part of it is that we can make up musical sentences. We can make up musical phrases that either ask a question or that answers a musical question. We can make up musical words which is fantastic, and those musical words are made up of musical letters. We've got a musical alphabet, and they adopt the first seven from our normal alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Remember, big ears are special. B and E in our musical alphabet from A to G are special. All right, what makes it so special? I'll tell you. In our normal A, B, C, D, E, F, G musical alphabet, we've got alphabet variants. Now, the variant can either be a sharp or a flat. For these particular purposes, we are going to look at sharps. So be sharp, okay? Not flat. <laughs> All right. So how it works, remembering that big ears are special. B and E in our musical alphabet are special. Why are they special? Because every other letter is followed by a musical letter variant, a sharp. For instance, is A special? No. So what is it followed by? A variant. So A sharp It's followed by a sharp. Is B special? Yeah, it is not followed by a sharp, so it will go straight to C. Is C special? Big ears. Nope, so C is followed by a sharp. Is D special? No, D is also followed by a sharp. Is E special? Indeed, E is special, so it goes straight on to the next letter, which is F. Is F special? I'm afraid not. F is not special, so it is followed by F sharp. Is G special? Oh, no, it is not. And so G is followed by G sharp. Is A special? Unfortunately not. So A is followed by A sharp. And this is how the full 
grid cycle works, starting on a particular letter and ending on a particular letter. If we started on A, or if we started on E, or if we started on D, if we started on G, B, C, anything that we started on, we'd end on that starting note too. And working out what is special is very simple. Big ears. Big ears, B and E, are always special in that there are no sharps following it. It just goes straight to the next note. Let's take our guitar and have a look-see how that works out right about here. So the first thing we really need to know is that we've got three very important main sections of the guitar. The head, the neck, and the body. The head is closest to the parts of the strings that are the lower notes. The body is closest to the parts of the strings that are the higher notes. If fingered correctly, we can get a good crisp sound that gives us the true frequency of where that note lies on the guitar. So, if you look nicely, you'll see that we've got frets uh, on the neck of the guitar. And as we look at what our special and non-special notes are with the variants that are added thereafter, we can fit them all onto our guitar. The first thing we need to know is that there are two types of um, notes. There are open string notes and there are fretted notes. So an open string note is the open name of the string. So elves and dwarves grow big ears. E, A, D, G, B, and E. These are the starting notes that we are going to be looking at um, when we work out each of the notes for the frets. So we know that each string, open string anyway, has a uh, letter note name, a musical alphabet letter note name, but so does each of the frets. So on the E string, we can finger down the first position, which is the first, the second, the third, and the fourth fret. That makes up the first position on the E string. Okay, so let's see if we use our special note uh, name system, how it works out. So, our open string is E. Is E special? Yeah. So, if we finger down the first fret, the next note would be F. Is F special? No. So, the next fret would be named F sharp. After F sharp, we go to G. Is G special? No. So we move to G sharp. After G sharp, we go to A in the fifth fret. Now we're in the second position. The second position, uh, our notes are, or our, our fret names are, uh, numbers are 5, 6, 7, 8. So A is A special, A sharp. B is B special, so we go straight to C. Is C special? C sharp. Now we are on the third uh, position, which is uh, fret 9. D is D special, D sharp, and E. So from E to E, we've got our Twelve notes, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Simple as that. Let's work out the next string. So we've got elves and on the A string, we start with the open A, remembering that we've got two types of notes, open string notes and fretted 
string no. A, is A special? No, A sharp. Is B special? Yeah. C, is C special? C sharp. D, D sharp. E is special, so we go straight to F. F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Very nice. Moving on to the next string, elves and dwarves. So it's the D string open. Let's start fingering down. Ready? D, D sharp, E special, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, B special, C, C sharp, D, fantastic, the full D string. And we can go through all of these strings, working out what the note names are by using the special and non-special note names. Remember, big ears are special. Challenge yourself. Work out what the open strings are. We already know them. Elves and dwarves grow big ears. Remember, there are two types of um, notes. There are open string notes and there are fingered string notes. You have special letter note names and you have non-special note names. What make special note names special is that they go straight to the next letter whereas the non-special note names have variants following them. For example, A, A sharp, whereas E, E goes straight to F. Remember, B and E are special. Try to play the single string fret focus all the way starting on the first fret or moving all the way through to the 12th fret. Give yourself a chance to try the 4th fret focus and see whether you can call out what the note names are on each string for each position. Go ahead, have some fun and start enjoying what the sounds of the guitar can do for you at this stage. The more confident and comfortable you become with your sounds the more confident and comfortable we get to play the music that we already come to love so much. If you're keen for another quick guitar tip, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Any questions you may have, please uh, leave them in the comments below. And most importantly, thank you so much for joining me on this musical journey. I'll see you for our next guitar tip.